It is a great way to take care of your health, but no matter which type of exercise you choose, it is crucial to take special precautions against workout injuries. Dr. Rebecca King, a primary care physician with Virginia Hospital Center, the physician group, excuse me, joins us to discuss remedies for common athletic injuries as well as prevention while staying active. Good morning. Good morning. So I know a lot of people, especially if you haven't been to the gym for a while, you go in there and you're trying to be like Hulk Hogan all at once. <laughs> and all of a sudden, here you go, you're injured. What are some of the things to keep in mind, especially if you're getting back into a workout routine? Yeah, so the, what can increase your risk for an injury um, would be getting back too early, too soon. So going harder and faster than you are used to uh, and not having a good workout routine where you gradually increase your frequency and intensity, not warming up properly right. and also not resting or recovering, giving yourself a break. I know that whole stretching before is a huge deal. Every trainer you ever see tells you stretching is probably one of the most important things so you don't hurt yourself. But I want you to underscore that for folks because that's one of the aspects of working out. I know for me, I tend to say I don't really need that much. But talk about the warm-up aspect and what that means for your body really getting acclimated to whatever activity you're about to do. Yeah, absolutely. So you want to have an active warm up. And whatever that means for you, if that's doing jumping jacks, getting on a treadmill, getting on a stationary bike, you want to get that blood flowing and pumping so you can warm up the muscles, loosen them up, help decrease your risk of injury. And then stretching is very important, but static stretching, save for after the workout. So you mentioned some of the remedies for common athletic injuries. That's what we talked about. What are some of the remedies that uh, you know people can, can definitely take heed of as they, they get into their workout routines? If you ever find yourself injured, just remember the acronym PRICE, P-R-I-C-E. Mm -hmm. P stands for protection, like wearing a brace or cut crutches. R is for rest, so stop the activity, give yourself a rest. I is for eye, supplying ice. C is for compression, either an ACE bandage or a compression sleeve, and E is for elevation, elevating that injured limb over the level of the heart. Those last three things help decrease swelling. Price, okay, I had never heard that one before, so that's very important. And then of course, uh, any tips about, uh, you know, staying active, uh, you know, go, especially if, you, if you're a little intimidated by maybe some of the gyms that you're going into, what other tips can you give us about staying active? Yeah, don't be intimidated by gyms. You don't have to go to a gym to work out if you don't want to. You can always use online workouts. But going for walks is just as good. All that matters is bringing that heart rate up. The recommendation is 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity per week. Divide it up. That's just 30 minutes, five days a week. And going for a walk where you can feel that heart rate rising, that will do it. That's right. Incremental changes. That's all it takes. I, I know so many people think I have to do it all at once, but incremental changes and you start seeing those results. Dr. Rebecca King, we thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you.